so good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you guys are tuned in uh, so i'm going to do probably two or three part series on how to draw vehicles in a cityscape uh, car trucks trains trams semi cycle and motorcycle probably so i'm going to see if maybe two or three or one i don't know how how, how i'm going to plan but it's going to take as long as it's going to take so, but especially when it comes to cars and um, anything to do with a little bit of perspective, you have to have a, some understanding of the drawings. Uh, what I've seen in people, they have a good grasp of the watercolor technique, but um, the perspectives of the cars usually look off or it looks something funny. You might not be able to point out what's wrong, but usually it's just the perspective is just slightly wrong. So it's, this is not a massive uh, explanation of how it is. I'm going to just go few basic things I think you need to be aware of. So I'm going to just use a couple of uh, pencils just to give you an idea about some concept. So, all right. So uh, the first concept I would say is uh, just understanding what is an X, Y, and Z coordinate. So probably if you are anything to do with drawing, you probably would have heard what an X, Y, Z coordinate. So you always have a horizon. And let's say I'm doing a cube. The imaginary line always meets at a point. So I'd say that's the point. That's where the point is. That's the second point. Third point, and then go. It goes here. And obviously that point connects to that one. And that point connects to that. So that would be a, a three dimension where the points are meeting somewhere in the horizon. Obviously the, the drawings you exaggerate a bit to get a steeper angle or a different angle. But always when you think about a drawing or a a cube it always reaches somewhere so there is a imaginary point and then also there is a long way but it connects uh, so you can do any angles you exaggerate it so you name it all stems from Spectre. Yeah, so why am I talking about a cube? Everything about a vehicle or anything to do with a car is always a, a cube. A body, the front end, and the top end, and the tire. Everything is always looked at in terms of a cube. So you add a tire always. You break it down into a volume uh, that I think is the number one concept you want to understand coordinates okay all right okay and number one is try to draw ellipse on a minor axis so if there's an axis so ellipse that's where the center is. And then if you are guided by two axes, so you need to be comfortable to draw ellipse in any given shape. So that's how the perspective looks. So I'm trying to do a different perspective. Let's say ellipse. Yeah, so it doesn't matter which steep or inclined angle it is. So you need to be comfortable drawing. So uh, a completely flat version is a circle. A circle is a square. The same thing when you're moving in an angle. So you're still having that as a center point. You're trying to draw cube what am i saying a circle uh, i'm the drawings are slightly 
not coming straight is because I'm not used to this angle for recording, but you get the point. Uh, it doesn't matter what steep angle it is. If you want to draw an ellipse, having some understanding of drawing at an inclination is key. So I could go on, but having drawing an ellipse. That's like a, a cylinder or a tire, a hubcap. Having a car in an angle, you need to know how to draw an angle. So you could, a flower as an example. This is especially interesting if you've got flowers at a different angle. So what we're looking at is flowers and those angles, they look what it's supposed to look like by having that particular angle. Okay, so second concept, drawing ellipse. E L L I P S E ellipse, okay. So the first one is coordinates and the second one is ellipse. I just got some sheets, notes on what I'm gonna do. And the third thing, I think it's an interesting concept to understand is about division and multiplication in perspective. What I say by division and multiplication is, how do you get multiple squares and multiple rectangles in perspective? So when I say division is, how do I divide into two or three? Multiplication is always the same. So uh, let's do a simple rectangle. A rectangle to, to split into Diagonals, you cross into diagonals, you cross into diagonals, and then you got your center point. So that would be four halves. And if I want to do four more, so I use that as a diagonal, and I get a half. This is a very powerful and uh, interesting concept to always remember is to know how to divide that. So the same thing goes in perspective. Let's say I exaggerate the perspective a little bit. So to get equal halves, I break it down into connect the diagonals and I get a center point and I get a center point. So there's four center points and the same thing if I want to do connect it. So one big and one small, doesn't matter which perspective it is so you're always trying to connect the diagonal so you get the center point so notice that the one which is closer to you is always bigger and the one further away is small and the same thing and you get your points okay so that multiply and divide is uh, another concept you want to think about. And how do I duplicate or replicate a rectangle in perspective? This one is duplicate. So let's say start with top view. I got a, it looks like a square, but it's slightly off. It's a rectangle. So you connect the diagonals so you get the center part I'm going to extend that and doesn't matter either the top edge or the bottom image and that edge so I am drawing that and I'm drawing that and I get a replicate of that one so that would be cube one and that would be cube two so Yeah, powerful concept to get something. This is flat, obviously. It looks very simple, but if you want to look in a perspective, let's say that's an angle I'm looking at it. 
So that's a cube I want to replicate two or three. Connect the diagonals first in that angle and either the top or the bottom. So I'm connecting those two. That would be the line. And that's how you get the next. So that one is first, second, and the same goes here. That would be number three. So basically, and you're going number fifth, fourth, sorry. Yeah. So that's how you get one, two, three, and four. It, it could be any other angle. I can hope I you guys can catch. So it could be any different angle. Let's do a perspective slightly that angle. And I'm replicating that. So I'm connecting. I'm connecting to get where the center point is. The center point, and I'm doing connecting the bottom corner all the way to that point. And you got that point. That's my second. And I'm doing the same for my third and so forth. So if I continue, so connects here and I get the other point. You get the point. So one, two, three, four, irrespective of what the perspective is, you're always, always getting that point. So first point, and that's the half, and getting that point, getting that point, getting that point, getting that point, getting that point. Yep. Easy peasy, but extremely important fundamentals. Knowing how to duplicate and how to multiply and divide. Couple more uh, small exercise. It's very important for you to understand so that when you start drawing the cars and the trucks and the trams, everything will be a lot more sensible. The third thing, let's uh, figure out how to divide a, a part into an odd number. Let's say, that's the line I want to split into five points. So I use a construction line or a line. I do one, two, three, four, five. And I connect that, connect that, connect that, connect that, connect that. Now automatically I got three, four, and five equal points. Doesn't matter which angle it is. If it's that angle, and then let's say I want to do seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Parallel lines, and you got seven. Assuming it ends there, that's the first point, eight points. So you got clear eight points. Let's take, this is, dividing into odd numbers okay uh, let's take another plane let's say i want to divide that five points it's the same concept one two three four five and i'm gonna add parallel lines and that, my friend, is how you split equally. And this is the same thing. It doesn't matter which exercise you go through. That's how you're trying to do. So the exercise I did last or here could be done the same way. So these are different concepts. If I want to split them into four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, 
four. And then all I'm trying to do is connect that, connect that, connect that, connect that. And that would give you equal distance. But that one is for perspective and this is equal distance. So you get equal distance from this perspective. Okay. Okay, couple more things. I know this is supposed to be cars and trucks, but I promise you, this is very important for you to understand. Uh, next one is mirroring in perspective. So let's say I got a plane. That's a plane. And I'm trying to mirror across that particular plane. So that is the mirror. And I want to do the plane. So obviously you extend the line, you got the center point and so that point to that point gives you the first mirror. Okay. And from here all the way you are going through that and that gives you the second plane. So that gives you a mirror plane. So first point, that's the second point. Same thing, doesn't matter what perspective I'm using. Let's say I want to mirror across that particular plane. So continue the vanishing point. It connects here, so that's the center point and you are connecting the center point to that one. So that becomes that duplicate of that line. And either this or the other point, you are connecting going all the way. And then that gives you the mirror. So that is a mirror point. I'll do one more from the top angle and then you get an idea. So that's a mirror. And that's the plane I'm trying to replicate. So you get the center point and plane is over here. So that would be the first plane and then you're looking at that plane. It's like you are, but um, that's a point. So you're looking at plane number one, plane number two, mirror across this particular angle. Okay, so that's mirroring in perspective with straight lines. I'll do a couple more mirroring curves, which is an imp important condition as well. So let's say take, well, why don't I do it in a slightly in a blue pen. Okay, so let's say try to replicate that one. So, how do I know what the point is? So, obviously, excuse me, connect that, connect that point. So, let me darken that so that you know which line I'm trying to mirror. Okay. So that's the point. And the same thing is you're replicating. So I know that for me is the same width as the other one. And if I cross, so that's a point. And I'm gonna cross that so I got my first point, my second point. 
and to get that one third point and I get rid of that and I get my fourth point so connect all the four points and you should get the same error. So one more example. Let's say the curve is like a half chalice. So this one is straightforward. I'm going to do half of that, half, divide that. So I get that point. I get that point. And I get that point. And I get that point. And I get that point. So that's how you duplicate. The same thing applies for something in a perspective. So if that's a case, that's a cube. And if I'm planning to do I don't know, let's say that particular cube. I'm doing the same thing. Split them. Do you want more points? I would split. So let me just, it's getting confusing. Okay. So I'm splitting them into boxes. And that particular point goes there, and that goes there, that goes there, and that goes here, that one goes here. So that's the way you do that. So I hope you get that point. Why do you need that? Any of the bumpers or fenders or any curved surfaces which you are really keen on, that's the way you tend to do it. Uh, okay, that would be mirroring 2D curves. Sorry for the play, mirroring 2D curves. Okay, now we get to how to actually draw a car or a truck or a train. The concepts are still the same. So you are doing a cube first. Understanding how the cube works is important. And if I do a small hatchback, that connects here, that connects there, and that would be how a car would work. So there's another square. Rectangle. Same thing, if you want to do some paint, some stripes, that's how you do a car. The side, the front of the car is extremely Simple, also what we are trying to do is uh, a simple sketch. So that's the windscreen, there's the mirror, there's the grill, let's say the headlight, the indicator, and the tire. Now maybe a logo, a wiper. That's how you do a front. And if I want to do a perspective, obviously, so the top of the car comes over here. And Mm, 
the thing as long as you understand how the perspective works you won't be wildly off on how a car looks like Uh, it doesn't look the proportions of the car doesn't look right but it still looks like a car because the perspective of the car is okay um, if I want to do another angle so same thing let's say I'm trying to do a pickup truck it's a bit boxy but we can always clean that boxy stuff up something like that so it still looks part of the perspective and it works very well so a bus you know what i'm saying so Everything is used to be the right perspective. Then you can get away with odd looking cars, but they will be still in perspective. Uh, that I would say will conclude basic skills about drawing. Now, the next couple of uh, I'm going to go through cars and trucks first, and then maybe a second episode on uh, other vehicles. All right, I'll catch you soon. Thanks. Bye.